Hey guys, and welcome to not the ordinary meat builders video. Instead, this is a Solari video hosted by meat builders, and that means wearing these fancy glasses, which I don't need. But we'll gloss over that for the moment. What I wanted to talk about today is the launch of our new project, and that is out of the frying pan. Uh, we'll, which we'll show you later on. But what we wanted to do for this project is bring to you a project that is unrivaled in its concept and at the same time has an aesthetic beauty and new techniques that other competitors are just not using. So our concept for this frying pan build is that we wanted to have something that was close to our hearts close to many people's hearts that in the that live in the western world and at the same time have it be recognizable for everyone so we chose to do a concept based on the refugee crisis that's going on worldwide right now not just in europe not just in north america but all over the world and we chose to put that in an oriental setting just because we wanted to show that it is a global phenomenon and not just a Syrian or a Belgian or whatever country in the world, an American-Mexican problem, but it's all over the world, not just in where we live. So, with that said, here is the first image of frying pan. And in that, we can already see that the threat of the project is represented by the dragon. And that dragon is representative of what we chose to be as ISIS or any other terrorist organization like Boko Haram or just any organization that makes people want to move away from their home country or home city because there are a lot of refugees within their own country. So, the dragon is about to attack the city that has three districts, and each district is attached to the skies with a rope. And the citizens built in to that city a mechanism in which they could easily flee. But then a dragon comes, so they have the decision, do they see if their district gets destroyed or do they flee and cut a rope into a portal where they don't know where they're going to end up and just into uncertainty, which for nobody is a good situation to be in. So with that, let's take another look at some more images of frying pan. What you saw here was mainly the terrain that we built around the city and that was inspired heavily on the oriental water paintings that have these uh, really smooth gradient lines coming with very strong pigments on the top to dropping very slight pigments towards the bottom. That's something we want to recreate and that's why we use a lot of gloss to get that nice effect going and also a nice see-through effect to get all the different levels of the train showing. Okay, let's take a look at the central district of the city and here's a few more images. So you've seen the central district right now and you see that there's a lot of commercial activity going on. There's one or two airships, those are not to escape, those are just for transportation between the districts. They would fail immensely if they were uh, used to escape the city, but you know, that's just to support the concept. And then we have something that not a lot of other people have, and that is 
just a central structure that holds everything in place and that is that massive rope system and the, the mechanism that keeps it all working. So let's take a look at the second district that is based around the arts of the oriental culture and uh, let's take a look at that. What you've seen here is a lot of writing and that's all in Japanese and we chose to do that just because we wanted to portray the message that they bring um, and so also we also try to incorporate as many um, art types as we could like the in Japanese and oriental art there is a lot of birds and um, and so on and also a lot of trees in the artworks and also well we also want to incorporate the martial arts which is also an art form so we have that sword sticking through the tower but yeah now let's take a look at the third and last district which is the farming district and you'll notice a couple of different things about this one Did you notice the differences? Yeah, we wanted to try to do something different with this one and that was mainly to create a different atmosphere. The other ones are very dense and, um, well, not, wouldn't say detailed, but they're just very compact. Everyone lives close together while on the farm. Everything's a little bit more stretched out, but yeah, that's the sort of thing we want to go for. Um, and we want to do this without compromise. So, without further ado, I'm gonna just show you guys the full clip of how out of the frying pan looks, and I hope you guys enjoy. See you guys. The people of Sora City are gone today. They cut the ropes under which they sway. You may think it's rather odd for a city to disappear as they say. They acted out of fear for a ferocious beast drew near. A dragon sent by God. A face characterized by an awful sneer. They picked the first plan to come to mind, cut the ropes and leave the dragon behind. But their plan was flawed, a void lay below them, they were blind. They acted with fear and no time to think, then they were gone in the time of a blink. <laughs> 